Hey, this is Jason Karcher, Vote IQ. One day, one state, we're in Nebraska, Cornhusker Stadium, where else? Trying to find somebody who can talk a little politics with us, maybe explain the state. Let's see what we can learn about the state and find out why it's so important to get involved here in Nebraska. It's a very populous state. This is the home of William Jennings Bryan and Bob Carey. Um, people like to like their politicians. Just for instance, Dave Heinemann is our governor. We refer to him as Governor Dave. We're the only state in the nation that has a, what we call a unicameral. We do not have a two-house uh, two system. Let it seem so and so it's a nonpartisan uh, legislature, so there aren't majority or minority leaders or whips or anything like that. Currently, the majority of um, the members are, are um, Republican. We are a predominantly Republican state. These are, these are heavy Republican precincts. Um, however, the second district, which is where Congressman Terry is from, is moving a little bit um, the opposite direction because of Omaha and the growth of the um, city and you know becoming a little bit more urban. If I gotta die. Nebraska and Maine are the only two states where the winner does not take all an electoral college and presidential election. In 2008, it was a very interesting story. Uh, Nebraska divides its electoral votes by congressional district. Uh, the Obama campaign spent millions of dollars to win the second district. There was one electoral vote that was awarded to Senator, or excuse me, to President Obama. Uh, the ball game comes down to can the Democrats rack up so much of a margin here that it offsets our win here. We had a staff of 10 field representatives, um, including myself, that were of high school to college age or just out of college. That worked relentlessly in this area, in this yellow and green area. And these are the swing precincts. And what happened is Obama and, and Jim Esch, if they had won these by bigger margins, that would have offset this. But in our race, we were able to basically tie Jim Esch in this C area. And there are a lot of independent voters here that in other districts were going two to one for Obama and the Democrat congressional candidate. We, we held Esch to a tie. So I think that that also helped that Congressman Terry has the ability, you know, to have a staff of younger individuals that'll get out of the community and you know talk about politics and talk about what's important to them as well as what's important to all of his constituents. It's very easy to get involved in Nebraska politics. I think I'm living proof. Nebraska specifically, it's changing. And I think that that's really important. This is a defining election this November. The, the country's direction really is at stake. It's not what it was 15, 20 years ago. And that's why people should get involved because you really can make a difference. If you get involved right now, because everything is changing, you have a voice, you have a say, you can throw your opinions out there in either party, you know, nonpartisan. So I think that's really important. So what have we learned about Nebraska? Well, it's got the only unicameral legislature in the country. It's conservative, but no matter what party you're from for president, you can still pull electoral votes out of Nebraska if you compete. But that's not enough. We need to know more. So comment on this video, go to Vote IQ, comment there, and hey, I'll see you guys on the road.